Hi, um, in this video I just want to show you uh, the latest version of Crypto Prevent. Um, we're still at version 4.3. We haven't really had to update it because the malware hasn't um, hasn't uh, really updated itself to circumvent Crypto Prevent's protections. So I'm just going to demonstrate that for you in this video with the latest variant of CryptoLocker uh, 2.0. Um, let me show you first. Uh, I actually do have a clean um, process list and uh, task manager. I'm going to start Crypto Prevent and test it just to ensure that the prevention is six, six, blah, successfully applied. Um, I actually applied it and restarted Windows right before I started this video. Um, next item is we have uh, App Data Roaming. App data roaming is uh, where this particular variant is going to plant its uh, executable that does the encryption, the, the actual encryption. And um, we'll take a look at this again in a moment. This is one of the places that Crypto Prevent does block um, with its protections. Next, we have uh, a document for it to encrypt with important data inside mom's recipes or what have you and finally I have the samples themselves um, these particular samples were obtained uh, from Steve Gibson's website uh, I believe that's grc.com slash malware I can put the link in uh, at the end of the video uh, if you're interested just make sure you know what you're doing and don't test on your personal system unless it's in a VM or um, with no shared drives, you don't want any network access um, just you know to do your playing around with. But you will need to have internet access for uh, Crypto Locker to um, actually do its thing. So <clears throat> if you'll notice I do have internet access down here as well in my VM. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this to the desktop. And I'll run it as administrator to make sure that it's going to get its hooks into the system. And you can see it appear in Task Manager here. And at the same time, now it's a hidden file. So if you didn't have your, your uh, files shown, this would appear hidden. Um, I mean, this would not appear at all, rather, if you didn't have your hidden files uh, setting set to show all files. So... I believe what CryptoLocker does in this instance, I ah, hear it is popping up. Um, this uh, window here is the actual file. Instead of deleting itself and moving everything into app data like previous variants, this variant just plants, plants your desktop background in app data, as you can see right here. We'll just do a preview on that. You see the desktop background. It's the same thing. There's the executable that does your actual encryption. And here's a, um, a compressed file that is probably used by the, uh, by the uh, executable that does the encryption. Now, this is uh, quite damning. It looks like CryptoPrevent did not do its job. However, you'll notice that this executable is not running in Task Manager that's because it's not running. Um, CryptoLocker thinks that it has encrypted your files when in fact it has not. Let me go to my documents and show you that my important data is still there. You're safe. At this point, um, CryptoPrevent has blocked this executable from actually encrypting your files. The only thing that's actually running anymore is this hidden executable on the desktop right here. So essentially, all we need to do is kill the process tree on this executable. Watch it disappear from Task Manager and from your screen. Delete the executable. We'll go back to the App Data folder. You can delete these malicious files added by it. Empty your recycling bin. Change your desktop background back. 
and voila, I didn't even have to reboot. That's because uh, Crypto Prevent um, did in fact do its job. Um, it can't prevent, for example, that executable from running on your desktop and from popping up, but it does prevent the actual executables that do the encryption. So I hope this video has been of some help to you and somewhat informative. If you have any more questions, um, feel free to uh, head to the forums, www.foolishtech.com. There's a sub forum there for uh, other foolish IT apps. Um, perhaps I will create a crypto prevent sub forum um, specifically for that in the future if I do get a lot of questions uh, and, and, and support requests for crypto prevent. I hope this video has helped you out. Thanks a lot for watching.